<laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Resident Evil. There is a giant snake trying to devour me or or maybe he's just wants to ask for directions. I don't know. I didn't really ask. I just immediately started shooting him. Hey, uh do you need direction? Nope. Nope, trying to kill me. Uh, oh god. It shouldn't be that hard to kill him. I mean, we've amassed all this grenade uh, launcher ammo. You just kind of you need to like kite him around the bookshelf. That's the the best way to do it. I remember. Oh yeah, he's going down. Oh jeez, that was <laughs> that was even easier than I thought actually. Ah, oh, you big pussy. Not so fucking tough now, are you, giant snake? Son of a bitch. Oh, wow, that was perfect timing. I ran out of ammo. And I can combine it to have another space. Alright, so in the last episode, we received the last book, Volume 1. And now we are going to get the last book, Volume 2. Which has the keys to the underground mansion in it. And by keys, I mean round, weird emblem crest things that fit into a secret fountain door. You know, like, there's all these, like, all these hidden entrances and exits to places just abound in this game, and yet, uh, and yet practical entrances to places, like these double doors, don't even fucking work. And then, I have to wonder, like, the main way into the, uh, secret laboratory is, like, this fountain that opens up from these elaborately hidden books, like, that are guarded by giant snakes. How the fuck did these scientists, like, commute? I mean, did they drain that fountain every time somebody wanted to come to work? There's no way they came to work individually. Like, they probably had, like, fountain draining times. Where it's like, you know, if you work at 8.30, please be on time for the 8 a.m. fountain draining. <laughs> what a stupid way to work. Like, Umbrella would have had to send out this, like... Uh, memo to all of their employees via email, like detailing the fountain draining times to the <laughs> to the secret underground laboratory at the Spencer Mansion. Way to go, Capcom! You didn't think this through. <laughs> okay, we don't need these books right now. We can just get rid of those. Put our grenade launcher back. Um, we still have the helmet key. That means there are still rooms to unlock. But which ones? I don't know. Um. Oh, you know what? I do know. I do know. And I think we're gonna go... Yeah, we'll take the battery, we'll take the crest. We're actually prepared to leave the mansion again. Except that I just remembered which room this last key unlocks. So we will do that. It's actually in the first room we uh, came in. You know, to the mansion. Not the first room that we came in. Never mind. That's not at all what I meant. Fucking perverts. Yeah, we'll go this way. It's just as fast. Ah. Uh, so, what do we talk about? Uh, what's topical? Uh, did you hear about Paul Walker? That guy's dead. No, seriously, that's a terrible shame. And actually terribly ironic. I would make a Fast and Furious pun, but I don't really need to. Okay, what is this? There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. I know what's back there. That's actually where we go to get our super secret costume after we beat the uh, game. Yeah, that's right. So actually, we should have unlocked this room before we unlocked the one that had Spencer's tombstone in it because that tombstone note that we found was like the very last note that he ever wrote 
so he would have come here first, but as said, I'm doing everything out of order. Oh, fuck. When I wasn't smart, <laughs> I used to play this, and then I didn't put together that, like, George Trevor died where the tombstone is, so, like, I thought that this zombie in this room was George Trevor. Because, you know, the note. Okay. Are those blue herbs over there? What the fuck is near here that would poison us? That's so random. They were just like, uh, what herbs do we put here? Uh, blue. Sure, it's fine. I love that all these daggers are actually daggers because at this point, I just feel like any dagger I pick up could be a taser. And I just don't know what's real anymore. Every time... Every time I pick up a dagger and it's actually a dagger... I feel like my reality is being mended just a little bit. Like I'm learning how to trust again. It's hard to come back from that. Okay, so the reason I picked up a jewelry box and then immediately didn't do anything with it is because those two little jewels that we got um, from that room with the uh, taxidermy heads the one that we did not put in the tiger statue has to go in this jewelry box and that will allow us to open up this little puzzle that's on the box which gives us a key to the final room of the mansion <sighs> so it's gonna be a minute before we leave the mansion again i'm gonna i'm gonna get sidetracked here so we have to go back to a storage room Running down the stairs and running down the stairs and running down the sideways stairs. Um, right, we can put ink ribbons away. Take this. I said put ink ribbons away and then I didn't do it. Okay, so the little red jewel goes in here. No, combine. Combine. Yes. Pieces fall out. Yay, puzzle! Not really that much of a puzzle, but. Yes, by puzzle, what I meant was. You know, easy shape matching game that probably a five year old could do. What I'm trying to say is that this is going to be really hard. <laughs> Look, Daddy. It kind of looks like it fits there. Wait, that sounds really, really, really fucking wrong. What the hell's wrong with me? I can do this, I swear. Oh, man. I'm setting myself up for failure. I shouldn't make... Such bold statements like a five-year-old could do this if I'm not comfortable doing it myself. And this thing goes over here like that. Don't even know what all. Actually, to be fair, the controls on this are really weird. I, I almost can't tell when I've selected a piece and when it wants me to select another a different piece. Like it, it's kind of bizarre, and so like I keep accidentally nudging the pieces. Okay. Uh, that is not right. Uh, neither is that. Neither is that. Neither is that, but that is. Oh, yeah, we got it now. Suckers. Gonna open the shit out of this box. Just you wait. I'm gonna get this box. I'm gonna fucking open it. It's gonna be begging to be shut. I'm done with it. There we go. And the final piece. Here comes Paul approaching the jewelry box now. Struggling just a little bit to get those final pieces into play. Here comes the final piece. 
and he's good for par. And we have a brooch. <laughs> There's nothing unusual, it's just a brooch. Until you hit the button and it becomes a key. Alright, so we got a key. And other than the secret room that is unlocked by beating the game, this is the last room that we unlock in the entire Spencer Mansion. I know, it's crazy. And it happens to be uh, Oswell Spencer's office. It's too dark to see anything. There's a lamp here. And we find dun, 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 a metal object. But, but this isn't enough to allow us to move on to the next part of the game because if you notice, it looks very much like the other one we have. Yes, it does. But the other object is called a stone and metal object. And this is just a metal object. So what that means is that we have to use this battery to get to the cave in that elaborate way that I explained in the last episode so that we can get the stone ring that goes around this metal object. And then we will have two stone and metal objects, which will allow us to move on to the final stage of the game, the underground lab. So we've cleared the mansion, we've cleared the residence, now we're gonna go clear the cave, which is a smaller section of the game than even the residence was. It does not take that long. And then we'll be on to the final stage. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Here's the metal object. Can't even use it. Can't even. Nope. Like, hey, Jill, you want to use this metal object? Nope. Can't. You know why? There's no stone around it. That's why. It's just metal. Everyone knows you gotta have stone and metal. That's like first grade. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go do this thing. I think we'll stop off at our save room and we'll uh, put our metal object in the uh, in the item box for now. And then the, the stone and metal object we're actually going to put back in that pedestal to unlock the door to the outside. So then we'll free up both of our inventory spaces. <laughs> yeah. I'm just having a love affair with these ink ribbons, but... Man. I think... I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna keep loving them. I think I'm gonna save. Growing up when I did, my first exposure to typewriters was Resident Evil. Isn't that fucking sad? It's the only reason I know what they are. <laughs> I think we're good here. Everything else is fine. I don't need any different weapons, do I? No. I feel like I need something else. What am I forgetting? Uh, that's okay, I'm sure it'll come to me once I've already forgotten, once I actually need it. Alright, back through the door that Barry so kindly fixed. After he fixes the door, I wish that every time you went through it, it just went, Barry Burton. Every time, that would be great. I wish I had a door that said that. If anyone can make a door that says Barry Burton every time you go through it, just uh, leave a comment on the video and I will message you in private. <laughs> 